Hello, is there is Sean there? I am. How are you? I'm good, Sean. How are you? Oh, I'm doing really good. Are you doing okay? I'm good. How's your summer going? And it looks like we have Mac Jackson with us too. How are you guys doing? Hey, Mac. How's your summer going, Sean? Are you staying um, healthy? There we go. I am. i uh, just been working a lot, and uh, with all the COVID things going on, this that's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of <And> sitting here. <laughs> How are you doing, Mac? I'm doing good. I'm just trying to get us all, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> Cameras, they can be tricky things. <laughs> well, I'm trying to, uh, uh, usually I'm using the computer, and now I just figured since it was sent on my phone, I might as well use my phone. Yeah. Totally. But, how's, uh, your, how's your, I saw you had a song up on Facebook a little while ago um, to honor someone that was uh, from your Constant Harmony. What do you uh, do Trying to think, well, I mean, it was, it was the anniversary of Harry Chapin's passing last week. Yes. And I just figured people were asking, hey, what's that song where you threw in the line about, you know, hit him or his music? So I thought, Now's a good time to, you know, do a little self promotion and throw that up. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I don't, I only have two singles available at the moment. So I try and like, of course, yeah, post them sparingly and then uh, throw in some other, you know, covers that I'll do for fun or whatever. But yeah. that's like the right moment to uh, share. Yes. And how's your, um, I know you got a new mixing tool for making music. Oh. How's that going? This thing, yes. uh, not even opened yet because of, <laughs> it, it, this would be the room that you see where I yes. would have all of uh, my stuff is there, but it's just so freaking hot right now. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. want to start a project. I mean, to do a podcast, I'm here at the computer and that's usually at night when it's a little colder, but there are times I walk out of this room sweating to high heaven and if you're going to yeah. try and be creative musically, I want to be comfortable. Exactly. Yeah, I, I get figure, that. You know, I, I, that can wait. I, I, <laughs> I, uh, good news, though, I did actually finish um, my 10th song for the album, uh, Everly oh, Dance. It's about my daughter. Yes, I saw your Facebook post. So I'm thrilled that I finished it. Now I just got to get through it without crying. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you're, you're, I saw the pictures of your daughter's um, service just a couple weeks ago. Uh, last weekend yeah. was her, her first communion. It was supposed to happen in May. Uh, yeah. But with all the COVID stuff, we didn't know when exactly. it was going to happen. We just kind of yeah. said, how about now? No? All right. Perfect. How about now? <laughs> and then they eventually said, okay, next weekend we're doing it. Bing, bang, boom. So yes. it, it was the first time we were all able to go anywhere. Because since this started, I really haven't gone anywhere. It, I mean, yeah. not, not that I'm dying to go anywhere anyway, but I've been working from home. And, um, you know, so this was going to the church. Okay. They kind of want you in and out. They, yeah, God's good. God's great. She's blessed. Get them out of here. And then after that, we went to... Um, a local restaurant and ate outside because my father's kind of paranoid about the, he doesn't want to be yeah. inside, you know, and we had a table away from everybody. So it was nice. That's good. I, I love the pictures of your family there at the church. They were really nice. And your daughter yeah. looks so happy and her dress was so cute. So yeah. Hey. yeah. She was so nervous for the longest time. I said, it's just like a normal mass, only you're going to get yeah. to receive now. Yes. You know, and they did the the practice the week before. So by the time she came out of that, she goes, "Oh yeah, this isn't difficult at all." I said, "No, they're not going to quiz you." <laughs> you know, yeah. I think that's what she thought. Uh oh, if they're giving me something, I have to be able to pass a test. Like, yes, you're okay. Just show up. Yes, that's good. And yeah. then, have you done any? I have been really busy with work lately. 
even with the COVID, I've been home, but it's been so crazy busy. <laughs> so, but have you done any more of your SG1 podcast? I haven't checked in a little while. I've been I've been real busy with the uh, MacGyver podcast and the Never Gets Old podcast. Yeah. Uh, the audio series, I haven't started to write the next chapter yet because in order to write that, I kind of have to see where, let's just say I have to do some research before I can write it. Yeah. Because I can't, you know, it's kind of relying on how something... Well, basically, I'll give you a little spoiler. It ties into the Dead Zone, the TV oh, series. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I have to finish watching that series, and I get to watch one or two a week. So yeah. once I know how that ends, I'll be able to attack this accordingly. Because I don't want to say one thing if it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Yes, I get that. Continuity. Yeah, it, it matters. <laughs> It does. And it looks like we have um, Paul Connolly with us too here. How are you doing, Paul? Well, he might not have audio. I'm looking at right. the uh, system here. Okay, I think he does. Hi, Paul. If you can hear me, hope you're having a good day. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the microphone. But I'm glad you guys are doing well. And um, any plans for the rest of your summer? I'm going camping. Oh, good. Weeks. My, my good. son, he'd rather go there than go, my, both my kids would rather go camping with me than Disney World, which means they've never been to Disney World yet. <laughs> 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 well, you know, that's kind of good, though. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cheaper for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that they were open in one of the Disney resorts. And I was like, how's that going to work? Everybody's going to wear a mask and nobody's going to touch anything. <laughs> yeah, that ought to be interesting. I know. I'm going, I don't know. Maybe another year. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. Paul. Hey, how are you? Yeah, there you are. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on with the audio. I'm still kind of trying to figure out Zoom. So yeah. how are you doing up there in Canada? I'm doing really good. Really good. good. How's Otto? Yeah. He's doing good. His head's off right now. I'm going to put him my head back on. <laughs> he's kind of like, okay, he's half on, half on. So, but, uh, no, did you, did you see the new t-shirt that I had posted on my, um... Yes, I did. That was fun. Isn't that good? Yes. It's so different, isn't it? Was it custom made for you? Or yeah, did it was. You... That is yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, my friend who does these cartoon designs for stuff, she, she goes to these conventions in Ontario, yeah. Quebec, but she, she, it was like, it wasn't that expensive for a custom cartoon. So then I made, got the t-shirt made and stuff, and then I gave a bunch away to some people. So yeah. I don't make, all, they, all, all they did, they just covered the expenses, right? So I don't, I'm not making any money off it, but. It was um, a really fun shirt, though, especially if you're familiar with Doctor Who. I'm going, that was perfect. <laughs> but it, but it, su it suits it with the wearing his mask and everything. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I got, I think I have the photo of it. I, I, I brought it to cop. I have, ex you know, it's funny. They lost the original order, and it was oh, from, nice. like, the ship from Miami. So I just, I just flip it around there. There it is right there. That is too cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I also I got a mask on now too. Somebody made me some mask, and I think I think I got it. On. I got it. I'm wearing it at work now. Oh, fun! I've yeah. seen that like different places like Vistaprint are now letting you make your own masks. I'm going. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, Mac just made some masks for his podcast that you can get online too. Isn't that right, Mac? Yeah, I have a nice variety of things that tie into MacGyver and Stargate. And, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, also, I, <laughs> I make sure, besides that, which I'm all proud of, that I design, um, I'll try and make it more general. Like, there's yeah. one that, there's a new design I have, which says, my favorite superhero can beat up your favorite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I figured, are you know, those, get, those get are available... Or is that through uh, Redbubble? There's, there's two stores. There's uh, Redbubble, which has 
a wide array. Now they're making puzzles of all my, like uh, all of my art, which is kind of neat. Cause if you like Jack, and yes. you can get a puzzle or a backpack. Uh, I have to get one of those for my sister. She loves MacGyver. So yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, let me know and I'll send you the link because okay, perfect. I'm yeah, constantly adding designs, but I try to also make it more general for you know just to kind yeah. of cover more bases. That way, somebody can find anything that they want, no matter what you're into, Doctor Who or Stargate yeah. or whatever. Try to make it fun and make yeah. it unique because every, yeah. every, everything else might just say you know. Stargate. Well, yeah, but how many has have a picture of Jack O'Neill next to MacGyver? Exactly. Yes, and that way you can you can reach the fans that like MacGyver, Stargate, Doctor Who, or completely different or superhero stuff. Everybody exactly. likes, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Thank and God. Those, that's, it, you know, it's also that's popular right now. They're going as this TikTok thing. I know. Yeah. That's um, crazy. Rockin', yeah. I never. Yeah. I never got, I never, I didn't hear about one of my friends who, who's Dalla Kiron in Mississauga. He started uh, playing this song with a Cyberman outfit on, with the, bugging his wife from behind with the music. I thought, okay, so I didn't really, he said in this link. So then, you know that TikTok dance everybody's doing all over the world now? I'm not very familiar with TikTok. I just know um, Ryan Nixon of Stitches Loft is doing some videos on there, and he says it's going really well for him. Well, my God, like whoever mentioned that made this app is making a fortune. Like, <laughs> it's like I forget the name of the dance. It's just like 15 minutes, 15 second segment, and the, the pattern, and all these people doing it. Even um, that actress uh, Dame Judy Judy Dench or their yeah. grandson is doing it as social distancing. So <laughs> I was crazy. So it's, uh, so my partner and I were with, uh, okay, we're going to try it. So, and, yeah. uh, but I'm going to get, but everybody's doing a little different style because he thinks, Wayne thinks we should do it a little bit differently, which makes sense. So, and I was trying to do it. I practice it. And I thought, no, I, this is this is not working because, but I hear him in the back of my mind. I thought, you know what? If I was an auto, I could just do it so many ways and be creative. You know what I mean? Yes. I can be creative. I thought, because this is like, I can do so much more without worrying about showing my face. You know what I mean? It's funny yeah. when you get, it's funny when you're I'm in character, you get just, it comes naturally. You're not nervous. So, yeah, so, so you're not fun. being you, so you're safe. Yeah, so I can just, you know, just be an ass, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, you know, but that's part part of Otto's personality. He's like all Daleks are uh, almost pure evil, but <laughs> everyone is a bit from it. Otto's probably more, he's kind of nasty. He's kind of a smart ass, you know, Dalek, very sarcastic. He's very, very sarcastic. So, you know, and just quick. Um, but no, it's been, um, how are things going with back in the States with you guys? It's, I see those numbers keep spiking all the time. Holy cow. Well, yeah. where, I, where I live, I'm in PA, and everybody in my neck of the woods have been smart enough to follow the rules and uh, stay inside mm -hmm. or go out, wear the mask. Uh, everything below us seems to be a mess, like in... Florida, and, I don't know, Texas, you know, wherever they're stubborn, that's where I, you could see them rising. Yeah. And it, it's the same thing here where I live in Virginia. It's everybody's pretty much just kind of, um, you yeah. know, everybody's taking precautions to wear a mask and social yeah. distance and that kind of thing. So we, it's on the East coast. Uh, we have like a pretty high, uh, population with COVID, but other than that, you know, especially on the Western rural end, it's been very, uh, the numbers have been staying pretty low. Yeah. yeah. Hi. How's it going there, Sean? Oh, going good, buddy. Good. Good. It's been a while, eh? It has been. And we have I'm... Charles with us now. I didn't actually get to watch your oh! Hi Charles. Hi Charles, I see you here. How you doing? I'm doing well. I was just I was I was just being a fly on the wall. Listen. <laughs> a fly fly on the wall. Uh, <laughs> your summer. It's been fantastic so far. That's yeah. good. Yeah. You know, did you do anything exciting? Do you do anything exciting so far? 
no, not really. You know, um, just laying low, staying home, trying to stay safe. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a little different. It's a, you can, as you know, it's a little bit different up here. I have, we have the, it's a little, but, uh, out in the Maritimes and they started July 3rd, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, uh, New Brunswick, but Nova Scotia and Newfoundland was the Atlantic bubble. So, yes. uh, the, because the numbers were a lot low, but that was it. So anybody couldn't, there, nobody would be able to fly in from any other province. So, and if oh. you did, I only had to be immediate, it has to be immediate family and you must self isolate for 14 days. And yep, the peace officer, you have to give your name, address, and apparently they can stop at that place at any time to check up on you. So, wow. yeah, it's crazy. They're so, doing uh, the same thing. And I have a, a language instructor from Hong Kong and she was going to go visit her family in South Korea this year because her mom and family and siblings are there. But it was going to take two weeks of self-isolation with her family and then two weeks once they got back to Hong Kong. So a month in isolation to go visit the family for the yearly visit. Yeah, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit, yeah, that, that's, that's hard, you know, it's different. Yeah. We're, we're like, we're, we're, Wayne and I are very lucky because I've, I've been on holidays since uh, the 18th and mm -hmm. I'm just moving my chair over. I, I need to sit down further. Um, I'm going to move this over. I've been, it's been a lot, um, we're very lucky because we went to like where I am, I'm on like an hour away. We call it the island now, right? Not PEI. <laughs> <laughs> so like this one's going to go on East Coast, and Coast. So we were like, it's an hour away. And then an hour, a half hour to Charlottetown, and um, we stayed there last weekend. And you know, it's you could you have to fill those travel documents going to and from back, but in one piece, two pieces of ID, and you know, it's fine. You know, what's your what's your favorite thing? I've always wanted to visit Prince Edward Island, but what's your oh, favorite thing about the islands? Everything about it. It's been it's a it's a huge tour. Like it's been underrated for the best place to visit and it's huge like it's like but it's funny once we can see where we are you have to try you have to cross the confederation bridge so it's like a tw uh, 15 minute drive across the bridge 12 minutes maybe yeah and, and yeah and then everything about it it's all like the red sand uh, it's popular uh, all those small little villa towns of charlottetown and um, all the national parks, it's right by right on the ocean. You know, I think it was one of the last provinces to join Canada uh, because it was a colony back then, right? So it wasn't, it was separate. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's famous for all like, you know, Anna Green Gables, Lucy Mama Montgomery wrote the books. Yes. All, all, all the, um, like there's a place called Cavendish and they have all kinds of like, uh, they have like the Avonlea uh, Museum, like, uh, you know, a uh, village, and then they have all little cottages and stuff like that to rent. There's all kinds of places to rent, you know, all little resorts to visit. Um, then they have, you know, tour, like, I think Cavendish is more of a tour, like attraction tours where they have like arcades, wax museums, all that stuff. Yeah. Kensington, and a can place like Kensington, it's more south of uh, Charlottetown. They have like uh, this famous haunted mansion. They, and then they have a small amusement park. There's water slides, all kinds of stuff. And I think you go further northwest of the of PEI. There's called the Potato Museum, which actually exists. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the history. It's all the history from from back late years, like four like centuries ago, when it was actually banned from Europe. Because it, it caught it thought because during the Black Plague, so it was yeah. bad. It was it was really this was five years ago when I went, so it was really interesting. Um, Pi, I just like everything. It's just um, it's quiet. I think the population is no more than one hundred thirteen thousand people in total. The island, yeah. Uh, uh, but normally, once you cross the bridge, there's tons of tourists, bus loads of people. From all over the place, you know, even place from from Japan. Um, I've heard that there's a lot of people from Japan that visit because they liked the Ella Montgomery books. It's very popular. Yes, oh, yeah. huge, big, yeah. big time. But we got there. There was like probably like probably like five cars, uh, 
in the visitor parking area yeah. in one spot. And we went to the beaches. It was quiet. No, no problem for parking. Just quiet. Yeah, I couldn't get over it. So, the, <laughs> But you know what's going to happen though next year? Uh, it's going to be uh, completely different. They could have been bombarded with people. So nobody up. It's funny though. I think the rest of the provinces, I think uh, Ontario, certain places like Ontario, they can fly to Alberta and BC and all that stuff, but other places can. Like if I go to Ontario, I have to stop, I, and I fly back, I have to self isolate for 14 days. Yeah. So I'm not, no, not, I'm not doing that. I think they're going to, it's going to be a while. They have no, apparently the Atlantic provinces, they have no intentions of opening up the rest of Canada right now. No, not enough, not to at least the end of August, maybe more, maybe longer than that. Yeah, I so, just don't think they know what, what, how to mitigate for this right now. So, hi, Annika, I see you're here. How are you doing? Uh, she might not have her audio. Okay. She didn't find the sound button yet. Same problem I had. <laughs> she's, on, she's on mute. She's on mute. I think you have to I change can... your, I think you have to change your settings yeah. there. Like, is this, new, is this a new uh, version? Uh, uh, she uh, left off. Oh, she left. Okay. She left. She, le oh. she, left. <laughs> she took, she just left on us. <laughs> yep, I see. Okay. Well, maybe she was having some technical issues. Sometimes when you log in, it can be a little tricky. And then it's mm -hmm. like it kind of pauses, so you think it disconnects. So mm. I'm not sure. But yeah. Well, that sounds like a fun place to visit. Yes. So, uh, oh my God, he, he caught Otto with his head off. <laughs> <laughs> so Charles, are you um, working on any new film projects? During well, I, I wrote a script that was, was in pre-production and now we're on hold. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's ready for when it gets um, yeah. back to normal. Yes, we're all waiting to get back to normal. It's kind of strange. You know, I did my I did my first comedy show two nights ago, and that was different. It was sold out, but it's, it was smaller smaller amount of people. That was kind of interesting as well. But yes. people people showed up and were you know excited and receptive, so that was good. That's always nice. So was that a, was that locally, or did you have yes. to travel for that? No, okay, I, no, no traveling. Not going anywhere. <laughs> and I'm definitely not coming down to the excited states. I might go to BC if I go anywhere, but uh, yeah. I can't. <laughs> but, yeah. Are you know, in the states or are you in Canada? I, I'm in Canada. I'm in Calgary, Alberta. Oh, you're in Calgary. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, and uh, okay. we 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 we've seen a bit of a spike in our uh, code of COVID cases in the last week as well. So kind of yeah. laying low, you know. Oh, I I guess. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense where well, certain provinces, yeah, you can travel and no restrictions, and other provinces, no, no, no. It kind yeah. of defeats the whole purpose, right? Yes. It kind exactly. of defeats the whole purpose. It doesn't make any sense that people are, oh, yeah, you can travel back and forth to Ontario, come back as much as you want, no self isolation. And, it's, and I think it's just silly. It doesn't make it kind of it defeats the whole purpose. Well, yeah, it's interesting. A friend of mine was saying that his, his parents went from Alberta to BC and they didn't have no problems and then they got all the way to victoria where they have like their their summer home and um, yes. because they had alberta license plates they got up one morning and their tires had been slashed oh no oh geez well yeah. apparently it was the same thing i'm moving over this way apparently that happened too um people from ontario they have they have cottages in a pi they were not welcomed at all uh <laughs> Yeah, some of the residents in PEI gave this Ontario woman who owned a cottage a hard time. They still back where you came from. So rather than people being thankful that where you are, that you're alive and healthy, and we're all, everybody's going through the same thing, we're all in this together, just treated, they're just throwing out nasty things, but like being really uh, prejudiced. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it's horrible, you know? Yes. You know, it's like, man. You know, Paul. I gotta ask you. Tell me the story about the uh, Dalek. It's not Dalek. Oh my God! Did you I say it wrong? You can't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being. I'm just. I'm just being mean. It's you know. 
well, uh, yeah, I, I could, well, basically, um, I built him 2019, 2018, 2019. So, took about a year to build. So I was actually did on this convention bash. Was it April we did this? It was April. Yeah, it was, it was April we did it. And it was a lot of fun. You know, first cool. of all, I convention. So um, I've done a lot of conventions in Ottawa and, and uh, Toronto. Um, did a few, a couple in Moncton. So it's a lot of fun. Of course, nothing's happening this year in person, right? Mm-hmm. But no, it's uh, um, it's a lot you know, of fun. A really, really good friend of mine. Uh, actually, we used to own a, a theater company together back in Vancouver. Jeremy Raddick was uh, yeah. Uh, he was on Doctor Who. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> did the yeah. Did he enjoy being on the set? Oh God, yes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I think yeah. that would be very, very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, actually I met I met Catherine Tate before actually. Oh, I she's am? a sweetheart, from what I understand. Yeah, she is. She's a very nice lady, uh, uh, and very funny. Very yeah. funny. She I seems did, very I heard, good. I guess the first time I heard of her was she was well, obviously Donna Noble, and then I didn't realize all the other stuff she's done before that, mm -hmm. and she's. Especially all the characters she plays. Oh my God, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's just hilarious. So, now, which, which of the Doctor Who seasons or series yeah. do you like best? Or, ooh, are you ooh, ooh. That's a tough one. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. You know why? Be, I'll, I'll, let me jump because I'll tell you, as a relatively new Whovian myself, since the. Yeah. 50th anniversary. I find that you tend, you know, you love a doctor. And so that's what you go. You're, who's your favorite doctor? And within each doctor, there could be great episodes. You know, so you can't really judge like a be, Yes. Some of right? them are really, very, um, what's the one? Not, uh, not the 12th. He was the 11th doctor. Right. Dave Tennant? Like Ten is my ten is my favorite, David Tennant. Yes. And but why is he? Why is your favorite, Mac? He's got the most charisma. He's all his, the aspects of him. He to me, he, he's always been the more heroic, the more um, gutsy. You know, uh, funny and, and very fun to watch. Like he, he's one of those actors who David Tennant. I could watch him in anything because he's just fun to watch his facial expressions, even if he's not saying anything so yeah. but you know there, there are some episodes of his that aren't my favorite but there's a whole bunch of them that are yes okay and it looks like um we have sarah here too hi sarah how are you doing good how are you hi good sarah, good. Hi, sarah. Hello. hi miss sarah hello <laughs> i've missed you i haven't got to catch up with you in the last week or two uh, or longer. I know. We've been busy. Yeah. It's been crazy. So what about you, Sarah? Sorry, say that again? Where about are you? Oh, I'm in uh, Vancouver. Oh, okay. Heard other Canadian. Yay! Hey. That's right. That's where I'm originally from, but I'm now in um, in Alberta and Calgary. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm from Ontario originally, just north of uh, Toronto and Peterborough, then I moved to New Brunswick uh, last year. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw this outside, outside of Moncton and Grand National it's, oh, I love the East Coast. I just love it. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. always wanted to visit the, the, the Atlantic provinces, so. Yeah. Oh, you should go. It's fun. They treat you real well when you're there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, much more slow paced out here. Uh, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, so, is, uh, yeah. Has, has production started back up in in Vancouver? Yeah, a little bit. Um, we've, I mean, they shot Van Helsing in Kelowna recently and did a movie in Kelowna, like that area. And then um, they've got a couple little things going on here. I went to. I have an audition coming up. Oh, it's good. gonna be shot. Yeah, oh, it'll be shot. 
Yeah, I just I just put something on tape for a movie that's filming in Penticton. Okay, yeah. So it's like it's kind of rolling, like a bit. I've I've done some more voiceover auditions as of late, um, but um, yeah, the actual filming stuff has been starting to slowly pick up. So it's good. And how are your acting classes with the kids? Are you still doing that? Um, well, I, I'm open to it if they need me. They um, had asked me to go on uh, another time, but then I guess something had happened. They had a some sort of day, and so people were going out, and so then the kids were kind of yeah. here and there. So then, yeah, so they said, well, we'll put it for another day. So, but I haven't heard back, but it's okay. So, yeah, yeah. so we'll do that, and then, um, yeah. And it could cut because of the summer too, you know, with all the schedules. So. Yeah, and they opened everything up. So they did okay. Yeah, like they op opened up a lot of stuff, so a lot of people in, you know, um, in the UK wanted to, you know, start, start kind of like going out and doing stuff a little bit more, I guess. So yeah. well, I guess it's 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 well, you get you get you get bored after a while, you start to go stir crazy, right? I know, right? I've just been doing like cycling and stuff. So I'll do like a cycle uh, a across the, um, like across the low heat highway. So right. just to get out and about, you know, because it's kind of, um, yeah, it's isolating kind of makes you feel like meh, especially when you've been in the house for so long, you just want to go and do stuff. So it's nice oh, to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you, I'm I'm trying to be patient with the whole thing. I figure we all have, we all we're all in good health. We all have jobs mostly. Uh, we're all kind of getting through, but I'll, I'm starting to feel that whole feeling the rest of the world coming to a halt. Like you know, there's no no new TV, there's no new movies that you can go to see. Yeah, and that's where I'm starting to feel it. Like I can't, I still can't go to a restaurant typically. You know. Yeah. Well, see, yeah. That's yeah, well, that's the problem. That's the thing with the states, unfortunately. It's such, it's such the, the numbers keep spiking all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and, and plus, too, it just it blows my mind away when there's no there's no bubble for travel. Like, unless, well, of course, you would have to, I think it was in New York, they have to self-isolate. But in terms of flying, it's like you can basically fly. I was on that satellite and flying everywhere still. So it's crazy. Yeah, my, my supervisor at work, I don't know what the heck he was thinking. A couple of weeks ago, he goes, I'm going to go visit my family for my two weeks of vacation in Florida. Well, we're in Pennsylvania. Oh. So he went down to Florida, came back, and like you said, now he's stuck in, in his motel room for two weeks. Oh, oh my God. God. Yes. I it's said, I hope that trip was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's not, it's not worth it. No, no. No, not at all. No, because I have about my my mom, my sister, and my relatives. They live in Ontario and Quebec. It's not worth it to fly down for something. You know, it just you know doesn't make any sense. You know, and you know uh, how you're talking about the uh, the conventions and how that's kind of grinded to a halt. Well, this weekend, I guess, is San Diego Comic Con. Yes, and I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> I was watching it from my TV because now it's free for everybody because nobody's going to pay for it. And it's basically what we're doing. So, you yeah. know, they had they had Keanu Reeves talking about, remember 15 years ago when we did Constantine? Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I've, I've heard some but, of them are even postponing through 2021 because of this, which I, yeah. I do get because you just don't know about the variables. There's too much at this point in time. We just don't know about it. <laughs> exactly. I think people, the stubborn people are going to keep this going until there's a vaccine, you know, yeah. because, because nobody has the nuts, enough self-restraint to stay in your yeah. freaking house for two weeks. Yeah. You know, everybody wants well, to I, I wear a mask. Yeah, but it might be by province to province too, depending what it is, right? Mm. If the yeah. numbers are very low, like where we are, they might go ahead with it. But, but, you know, at least they cancel where I am. They cancel way in advance, you know. Uh, yeah. Fan, Fan Expo, they just canceled it like two weeks ago. However, they decided, oh, let's have a, a special edition in November, which is absolutely crazy and only sell 25,000 tickets. Uh-huh. 
Everything is oh. done. Everything that I would have gone to, they're like, you know what? We wanted to do this in October, but let's be real. We'll just wait until October of 2021. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's a smart way of thinking it. Yeah, I think it's smart. Oh. Um, but how's everybody sober going? The rest of them going good? That's Say again. Pretty yeah, chill. Everybody. Pretty good. Yeah. It's, I mean. Uh, it, yeah, there's not a lot to do. I even the thing, the one thing that's kind of irritating about everything is, is like there's not supposed to be um, people traveling from province to province. But in the Okanagan, there's a huge influx of Albertans in the Okanagan coming to visit and hang out. <laughs> and they were going, well, what do we do? Like you can't. They said, oh, we can't um, do anything about it. They can't really you know, stop it. But you think about, if we had it so you could, if people kind of go across and they're not supposed to, if they could at least get even fined, that money could go back into all of the money that we've had to like put out for yeah. for COVID expenses. There's some of the people that are just blatantly, you know, putting people at risk, like if they could be fined for that kind of stuff or like the big drum circle they had, just being able to go out and find those people. And then, mm -hmm. you know, maybe some of that money could go into like, you know, back into COVID relief stuff, you know? Well, it's like yeah. where I live, I get like if people, there are some people that do not have the money to buy the cloth masks, which I get, but I'm going, if you have a mask, then please wear it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just, I don't get, like if you forget it, okay. If you can't afford one for whatever reason, okay. But a lot of them, it's like, I don't get why you're not wearing a mask, you know? <laughs> yeah. The stubbornness is what ticks me off. Yeah, like, that I'm going, it's not a, a it's not a rights issue. It's just, we're trying to keep everybody safe. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it hasn't affected them personally, so they don't think it matters. Yeah. Or that's not yeah. happening, you know? You know, a lot of people just think, oh, it's a hoax or whatever, because nobody directly has been affected. I even saw that a lot on Facebook, people going like, oh, how many people do you know if you didn't watch the news? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, just because uh, you ate a sandwich today doesn't mean there's no world hunger either, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's hard exactly. To hard to defend the human race at this point, you know what I mean? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. G5 and, um, you know, Bill Gates. I once read a quote, I'm not sure who said it, but they said, well, if there's a human race, then I'm betting on the race of the cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. At least they know enough to scurry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just so everyone knows, I don't know, um, I think I sent an email, but the group chat from last time is now up on YouTube. So everybody can see the one from last time. It's on the Collaboration Comic Convention YouTube channel. And then also I'm planning on this month in getting all the interviews and um, panels from the convention up on Anchor Podcast. So they'll be, listen, they'll be able to be listened to auditorially on like Apple and all the different platforms for podcasts. So just so you all know, I'll be sending out an email and also it'll be discussed on the next group chat. And we did miss the group chat for June because, or excuse me, yeah, June, because life got really interesting here. So I just didn't get it done because I had two moves, um, one for my family member, one for me, and I had two family members in the hospital for non-COVID related issues. So oh, that's why we didn't have group chat this last time. <laughs> no problem. Oh, All right. That's crazy. Are they Hi. doing better, Ona? Hi, Anika. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Hey, how are you? Good. How Good. are you guys doing? Really good. Good, yeah. Good. Are you having a good summer, Annika? It's hot here in New Jersey right now. I uh, bet, yeah. yeah. But it's not yeah, bad. Uh, I got to the shore one, one weekend. Are you staying safe from the virus? Oh, yeah. We oh. still work from home. Good. Oh, that's, that's smart. And then it's going to be limited, limited office time starting September when school starts. Yeah. 
I, I'm working from home and they were going to just have me do it till about the end of the summer and now it looks like through the new year, so. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. When I like being home, so this works for me, saves me the commute and all the gas fumes, so. <laughs> and it's safer. Down yeah. Down there. Uh, what? Is what down there? Yeah, in New Jersey right now. What was that? I can't. Uh, how, hot is, not. how hot is it in New, in New Jersey right now? Uh, it's about 90, 91. Oh, my Ooh. word. Yeah. Wow. I'm in PA, so I know exactly what you mean. And I'm in this room, which has no air conditioning, so. I think PA is hotter because at least, at least most of Jersey is, like, near the shore within, like, you know, 50 miles. Yeah. I didn't want to uh. say. <laughs> <laughs> humidity is awful i'm just saying every time july rolls around i go what am i doing in the midwest <laughs> no offense hey, you Anna. couldn't pay me enough hey yeah, Anna. I, I get that yeah <laughs> uh Anna, i just want to let you know we're probably going to have a new visitor to join us uh here in just a minute her name is lisa soland and uh, she is a tv and film actress who appeared on guiding light and a lot of other projects uh, oh, she's also so a cool. very accomplished. Uh, she's also a very accomplished playwright uh, who has written over 40 plays for uh, like uh, prolific publishing. Uh, Samuel French. So she should be online with us in just a moment. Oh, that's okay. great, John. That'll be wonderful. Thank you. So yeah, how's so everybody else welcome. been? Good. My summer's gone. I'm on vacation now for a couple weeks. So I've been enjoying every minute of it, trust me. I've been mean, already visited Prince Edward Island and I'm at the beach every, every once a week where we are and it's been relaxing. Oh, humidity, I think uh, I think it's only gotten in the 80s, like 82. So I'm used to that. <laughs> so I'm not missing, I'm not, I don't miss the humidity, let me tell you. Hi, Lisa. Um, just so you know, um, everyone, Lisa's on too now. Hello. Um, Hello. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. So, Lisa, I gave a, a short introduction uh, with a couple of your, uh, like, uh, play credits and film and TV credits. So, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? <laughs> that is so funny. Um, okay. Uh, my name is Lisa Soland. I am primarily a playwright. I've written um, countless plays, uh, monologues, 10 minute, full lengths. Um, I could talk forever about me. That's enough about me. Tell me about you. What do you think about me? That's what Burt Reynolds. No, I, I do want to no point question. out to a lot of people and let them know that uh, she actually studied under Burt Reynolds at the uh, Jupiter Theater in Florida. Oh, really? Wow. And was on his television show, Evening Shade. So that's where most people recognize Lisa from. I got my, uh, my BFA in acting from Florida State when Florida State was one of the best schools. And then I spent a year as an apprentice at the Burt Reynolds Theater and worked with him. But my primary my primary teacher was Charles Nelson Riley, and he's really instrumental in encouraging some of us in his advanced acting class in Los Angeles to start writing. So I started writing plays 30 years ago, and my first play was published with Samuel French, and then it, I just never looked back. I, I started out as an actress and then became a playwright. My first play was published by them in 1995. So what, um, so Lisa, what are your favorite types of play to write? The full length, the monologues, um, which are your favorite to write? I like it all. I can't really say anything. I love writing everything. I love writing. I love helping other people write um, because I love it so much. It's not enough for me just to do it myself. Um, yeah. But I, I just had a great, I have had a great career if I, you know, I'm actually to the place where I don't really need to write anymore. I needed to re write so badly for so long 
I just felt like I had so much to say and I still have a lot to say, but you know, I've just had, I just have to say I've had such a great life um, awesome. that I, I don't really have, I don't know. I'm publishing books now. I have a publishing company and a playwriting publishing company. So I get a lot of fulfillment out of helping other people. But I wrote my last play that I wrote was Sergeant York, the one man play. I, I really like, I'm really into writing biography plays, real uh, life plays. Oh, so who, who are some of the people that you featured in your plays? Um, not sure what you, what you mean. I the last play I wrote was for on Sergeant York, and Greg Kelton played him, the the war World War One hero. Oh, neat. Um, but I've I mean I I'm if I come upon somebody that I would like to write about, I'd be more apt to writing. I really love the one one person play format. Yeah. Um, but I also like writing ten minute plays. Um, I'm trying to think. I well, I wrote um, the Sniper's Nest, which was on um, the Lee Harvey Oswald and the assassination of John F. Kennedy, and I also wrote uh, Spatial Disorientation, which is the last 35 minutes before John F. Kennedy Jr. got on the plane with the, with his um, wife and her sister. Yeah. So those are you know those are based on real um, you know true to life situations. So I. Guess I like I and I'm into World War II right now. Yes. Well, I think I actually had talked to uh, Sarah mm -hmm. and uh, Anna and Annika because um, that's the play that we had discussed before that I said that I would like to produce here in Virginia. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I would. Yeah, I'd be interested in. I mean, I live in New Jersey, so it's not like I can be there all the time, but I would definitely be willing to help with like. Uh, at least the pre-production. How many yeah. are in your group? Is there only like five or six of you that make up your acting group? Um, actually, it's several. Uh, most of them are film and television actors and uh, that uh, we all did a Comic-Con. How long ago, Wana? Um, the Comic-Con was in, let me think here, it's been a blur, but it was in April, I believe. Yeah, we did, we did the middle of April. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting beside you. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> so, well, this, uh, so, so I forget your first name. I'm sorry. It's, it's a, Lisa. That's Lisa. Okay. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm Paul. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a cosplay character. I, I'm a, it's a Dalek from Doctor Who. From the sci-fi series. I have, I've so, heard of Doctor Who, Who. Yep. So these are basically, uh, mutated aliens, uh, in this travel machine and they're just they're just mean they're just pure evil basically they just go around and enslave the slave the universe most dangerous creatures and i built this thing actually so the ones you see on television like this is the different versions of it from the generations of the show um but there's like i think there's like six or seven of us active in canada we belong to this group and we raise money for sick kids so I'm from Ontario, uh, just outside of Toronto, so I moved here a year ago to New Brunswick. So I think I'm the first one in the uh, New Brunswick area. So it's, uh, I am inside it. I'm literally inside it, actually. So it's I very cool, yes. And it, and it has a big box of everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, what I, that's what I sound like when I'm speaking when I'm inside it. Like, seek the cake, sound my side. Are you guys so strong this to say? I don't see a mask. <laughs> and, and in answer to your question, Lisa, we had about 26 guests, I think, that were actors. Um, they did costuming, etc. Um Paul with his auto, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. Sarah, you should have you should do some of your accents for Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you like. He's really good. Sarah's excellent accent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I do a lot of different voices. It's kind of my And then own. don't you do um, voice training too, Sarah, for accent work as well? 
Well, the thing that I was talking about was when I did my ATCL, I started yeah. I, the, the theater speech. Um, yeah. So learning the speech component for that helped me hone my accents and really figure out where placement is. Because I started to actually put the two together, like the technical with just what I would do naturally and what I would mess with before. What I would do is I would listen to accents, whether on television or whatever, and then I would record them and listen and record and I would hone it, you know, as much as possible. Then I would go a day just with the accent so that I could kind of tweak it. Yeah. And then what happened later was when I did my, did my degree or my associate degree, um, then I was able to take all of that technical aspect and go, oh, okay. And then I can describe it to people to help you know, this is where the placement is, or if it's in the front of the mouth, if it's, you know, more glottal or, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. How long have you been doing the voiceover acting there? Sorry? How long have you been doing the voiceover? Um, I just started doing that within the year. Um, I moved over and started doing that as well. Um, you know, getting an agent and everything. So I've done okay. stuff here and there or been, you know, but not anything with through an agency. And then uh, I just talked to my agent that does just principal and she said, oh yeah, yeah, I can, we, she doesn't do voice. Uh, she doesn't, uh, she's not an agent for voiceover work, but there was another lady who does it specifically in our uh, agency. So she sent my stuff over to her and now I've started kind of building that. So um, right now I'm just working on building some of my different uh readings for audiobooks because i'd like to move into that as well and then well, that's been, eh? hmm. sorry that's that's good that's really interesting, interesting voice yeah it's audiobooks. fun it's great there's a lot of different avenues because you have um animation of course there's commercial but then there's also all the video games and then you have audiobooks so it's a whole other area to kind of expand you know, so just keep yeah, my hand on like the pots if I can, just keep uh -huh. going. <laughs> yeah. Give us a sample like some best. One of my favorite things about it is I get to do it in my jammies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> no, I, but I give you guys, you guys are a lot more experienced of, of acting than I am. I'm just, I'm, I'm an office at for being acting, but. I do it. I, I enjoy doing it. So my main job, I work for uh, Walmart, actually. 23 years for the company. Wow. So, yeah. And uh, I haven't stopped since, you know, this whole pandemic started. So um, it's very, been very, very busy. Yeah. Well, yeah, not well, actually, no, it's not as crazy as it was back then when I, I did the group chat with you guys back in April because, uh, yeah. Man, First month was like so overwhelming, and it's like by end of April, it's like it's just ever, it just like it was getting too boring. You know what I mean? So, because nothing next to nothing was open except for us, the the drugstores, or you know, our little grocery store. Everything was limited. Only some people coming in, but now it's we're back to full regular hours at our store. Uh, a lot and like there's no limit they got rid of the security guards that's that's gone now uh, but now we got like uh, plexiglass at every register we got plexiglass at self checkouts now isn't that crazy <laughs> so I never thought that would happen I thought man and we're cleaning now we're cleaning constantly I've never cleaned so much in my entire life yeah it's like it's like it's, it's interesting how you don't mind cleaning you just do it out of habit because you do it as part of your job. You do it because you know, I'm cleaning every trans after every transaction of cleaning and or whatever. And then at home, it's like, oh, I don't want to clean the house today. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, yeah. I'm strangely, uh, I'm getting used to the new norm. I'm getting used to the new norm. I never thought I would. Um, it's, it's been, it's been weird. It's been wild. It's been, but I'm very lucky. Like I said, I've been, Going to the beach, often where we are, it's like a two minute walk, access to our beach and, you know, doing biking, walking, you know, uh, just enjoying what we're lucky just to be able to do stuff, you know. So it's nice weather too. It's been a great summer for, for weather-wise. Like, 
really don't really wear Lisa and I are we've been getting hit with a lot of thunderstorms and a lot of rain so we're glad I that Prince Edward that. Island in Nova Scotia is getting good clear weather yeah. yes well you guys I have to go I didn't know about the meeting and Sean <laughs> is just awesome that he in included me real quick but I yeah. if there's it anything nice to meet you Lisa you have a wonderful nice day to meet you, Lisa. It was nice, nice to meet you. Guys too. I wish you all the best. And if there's anything I can do to help with um, some new material, let me know. Perfect. Sure. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Take care, each one of you. Be careful. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. That was really nice. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. But I think I'm going to have to be getting going too, actually. So. You have a uh, good day. Paul, um, and I'll send everybody a link for the next group chat too. It's going to be in September, probably around, let me see here. I'm going to pull up my calendar because I'm not good at remembering dates. So let's see here. Um, excuse me, not September. It will be in August. Okay. <laughs> probably on the 15th, if that sounds good to everybody. Same time. I'm not sure if I'm working, but I'll let you know either way. Certainly. You guys have a great day. And then um, I'm just going to keep this open if anyone wants to say anything else, just so everybody can do that. All right. I just wanted to uh, mention to make sure that you, anything you want, I have, I have the, uh, the um, Forever Adventure Network on Facebook that you're welcome to post any of your videos. Certainly. On. I'll include a link to this. Um, I'm going to post this on YouTube here tomorrow. At least it'll be there by then, if not tonight. And mm -hmm. then um, the last group chat um, is there as well. And I'll post that to your Facebook page if that's all right. So everybody yeah, that's can it's, it's, yeah, that's exactly what it's there for. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and then I'm also okay. going to post it to the group for um, Collaboration Comic Con. It will also be on the page for Collaboration Comic Con. So, there we go. Right. Uh -huh. And Mac, I'm waiting for the new album, buddy. Good talking to you again, Anna, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.